please look at me i want to pray very serious prayer for you now and i want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says in the book of esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces hadassah or esther the bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king ahasuerus and mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten i'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can i tell you this god does not forget but men can forget believe me when i tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men god uses men to lift god uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by joseph and joseph made a plea and said i am in this prison but i am innocent i don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the wine presser forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you 
when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God through helpers right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered uh, we will we'll do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ We'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer it is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time it says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november I'm saying it by prophecy I stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace may your help not escape December 2021 believe it believe it believe it may your help let it not escape December 2021 therefore I prophesy to the East I prophesy to the west I prophesy to the north and to the south wherever your help is I gravitated towards your destiny ah. in your prayer life there are people here it was not like this with God something just happened perhaps the vicissitudes in life brought you down to a point where your prayer life has gone down in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with Pastor Kingsley and we declare over you fresh fire upon your prayer altar help them please Kebrante Kabrigete la Katuskiata, Grete Kabarante Skiata, fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ.
hear me the unction for discernment i'm seeing the number 12 let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace in the name of jesus i decree and i declare take that grace for discernment supernatural discernment in the name of jesus hear me darkness from a distance looks like light it takes discernment to know what is light let me speak over every closed door by the power that raised christ from the dead and by the privilege of priesthood i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and i speak every door that has been closed over your life in the name of jesus i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and i speak over that door a father be open now 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 By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the seasons. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light. Arranging the stars to your feet. Everyone ordained to lift your hands in this season. Helpers of destiny. I don't know where they are, but I prophesy to the north. I speak to the south. I speak to the east and the west. Wherever the helpers of your destiny are, between now and the month of March, I command them to appear in your life. I command that they show up in your life. Let me speak over your finances don't say it does not matter it does it does there is a prophetic dimension to wealth by this time tomorrow he said what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you hey, not like you into the darkness you shine into the darkness you shine out of the ashes out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you not like you David's Christian Center, your God is mighty. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher, Lord, you are higher than any. Our God is healer, awesome and power. Please listen i'm wrapping up when it has to do with the subject of supplies and abundance there is a place for value and productivity there is a place for relationships and all of these factors but in the kingdom we are not left without an advantage there is a prophetic dimension to wealth and abundance it says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe his prophets believe his prophets so shall you prosper herein lies the pride of our world today i know that the prophetic has been abused there are imbalances here and there but within the boundary of accuracy and the boundary of scripture the prophetic can work wonders i want to pray over someone you will marvel and wonder at what god does in your life in the name of jesus christ i call upon the god of my covenant 
that between now and the next 90 days according to the mystery of the ark of god in the house of obed edom standing in faith with your man of god in the name of jesus by the privilege of this election of grace i speak to your finances experience strange favor strange favor supernatural abundance in the name of jesus i compel men and systems and structures i command them to respond favorably exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty i forbid emptiness from your life esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the people says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her not some all i pray for you anyone who looks upon you from tonight may that glory that is upon you compel them to stand by you to help you let me specially pray for all those who have stood by the man of god in prayers in love in support in partnership i pray for you in the name of jesus god is not a fraudster god is not a scammer i stand in faith with him and i declare my god the god of this vision and this commission may he supply your needs according to his riches in glory even by christ jesus in the name of jesus you will get jobs you did not apply for people who have forgotten you i open the book of remembrance for your sake in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you finally the grace for speed that god would take 10 years and put it in one month for you believe it believe it and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab i speak to ministries here i speak to businesses here in the name of the lord god who called me i prophesy to you in one month receive the result of five years I speak over your life listen you are going to decree and declare that in the name of jesus this is the season where you will see the manifestation of god's grace even in the area of supplies pray for yourself pray for your ministry pray for your business please do not entertain lack and want it will affect your convictions pray open the heavens oh god grant wisdom grant relationships supernatural ideas strange manifestations of favor bring your people to their wealthy place bring your people to their heaven The slavery of lack and want and poverty we curse you by the God of heaven. This is a season of light. Your people will experience supplies, supernatural supplies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah hallelujah let me encourage you therefore listen to me when the flood when the flood was going to come god called one man called noah and said noah flood is going to come upon the earth and is going to kill everything everything that has life therefore build an ark of three stories of gopher wood 
and he gave him specific dimensions and when he built the ark it was never god's desire to save only eight people there is nowhere written in the bible where god said it is only eight people i wanted to save the stubbornness of the fallen man is what landed them in that flood the ark could be able to take as many people the animals obeyed but men disobeyed the animals did not even wait to experiment with the rain from the bush they started coming two by two seven by seven into the ark but men they began to laugh and to mock them and the bible says god closed that door can i tell you this i don't mean to be arrogant but one of the reasons why god sent us to this city is because of these times we're not the only ones doing what we're doing it's a collective effort of the body of christ but we have a contribution and a role to play this is i'm saying this because many people's salvation is at the mercy of what they hear this is the year that you will make up your mind that you're not going to come to the house of god alone you are not first for yourself and then to make up your mind that these my children who represent my future but are very very lazy and careless when it has to do with their spiritual growth i must begin to invest in their spiritual growth or your spouse who goes to the house of god and then leaves you behind or you leave your spouse behind you say no 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 it is as for me and my house remember the weakness of ignorance is where satan will attack from as for me i made up my mind this year that through all our arms of expression the school of ministry our external ministrations the sunday services and the media ministry and every 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 arm of expression we will give our best to see that within the jurisdiction of the grace and the assignment committed that we bring light first to you and then by expansion as a contribution to the body of christ as for me i've made up my mind and renewed my covenant with god that for me i will give my best it is up to you to make up your mind Family of God, and we really celebrate and love you.